Hello guys, I am Joshua 600 and welcome to Trying the Games on the Sunsoft Collection 2 cartridge here on the Evercade. So yes, here in part one, we're going to be doing four games. We are going to be starting with Arrow the Acrobat 2. Evil industrialist Edgar Ector is back in action, working with Zero the Kamikaze Squirrel to implement his nefarious plan B. Arrow, meanwhile, finds himself in a strange other world. Collect stars to throw at enemies or use Arrow's iconic drill attack. Watch out for special doorways to chance rooms to earn extra lives and seek out special collectibles to play bonus rounds and earn useful items. Who is friend and who is foe? And what is plan B? History. Released in 1994, Arrow the Acrobat 2, is, uh, it's missing the 2 on this description on the cartridge, but not in the library, uh, was one of the several games from the period that made use of impressive pre-rendered backdrops created using powerful Silicon Graphics computers. Workstations rather than traditional hand-drawn pixel art. If you know what I'm referencing with the Silicon Graphics computers, great. If you don't, it is gaming in the clips in years. Katie says, Arrow's a bat with attitude. Batitude. I think they were onto something. Okay, and we're not going to look at that control uh, uh, matrix. We're going to look at the actual diagram. So, yeah. Let's start the game. Arrow the Acrobat TM 2. Okay. Controls, pause, move around, hold B to look around. Okay, that's interesting. Throw magical stars. It's weird. That text is kind of like not entirely aligned to the to the line of the button, but it's close enough, I guess. But that's just weird that it's kind of far away compared to like every other game. That's that's just weird. X for throw magical stars. A, jump and spin drill in air. And B, slide down the lid, ladder and drop drill in air. Well, we'll figure it out. Sunsoft! Developed by... I can't... Iguana Entertainment, I think that said? Okay, Arrow the Acrobat 2. This music is weird. Three, two, one, let's pickle! Uh, we'll look at options first. And I already started the timer, I'm just... Okay, there's... Oh, a password. Wait, what did that say? A what editor? Hold on. Hold on. No. Reset the timer. Reset the game. I need to see what that said in the options. And my camera is lagging. But that's okay. At least it's not frozen. I had that. I had issues with the camera in uh, the la in uh, when I did Pico 4 Part 1. So I think it's just going to be a thing for a while. I'm not sure why. I might have to switch to OBS. It's not Streamlabs OBS. But that's, that's outside the scope of Evercade. So, options. Play... Oh, play Ector. What does that mean? Select speed. What? Okay, we're gonna see what that is at the end. I, I'm curious about that. I don't know what that is. I wonder if it's just like a, a mini... Like a bonus minigame of sorts. Anyway, 3, 2, 1. Let's pickle for real. Previously... As Ector's flying machine slid across the bridge, Ector jumped out just in time, only to land on the very edge of the museum bridge. Arrow moved towards him. With one last drill move, Ector was knocked over the edge. Arrow, you're a murderer! Okay. As Ector fell, unbeknown to Arrow, Zero flew past above him, intent on saving his master. Suddenly, a loud crash was heard, and the whole museum shook. Was this finally the end of Edgar, a Edgar Ector? Arrow thought so, but Zero reached Ector just in time. It was Ector's flying machine that crashed against the floor. Zero, put plan B into action immediately! Okay. Yes, master, it is done. Just like that. Arrow wandered back into Ector's Museum of Horrors. As he explored, he accidentally found a curtain a curtained entrance. Arrow was amazed at what he found. Hovering before him was a magician's box. Uh, 
Oh, Arrow, why do you look like that? Arrow's curiosity overtook him, and he jumped inside. As he wondered what to do next, something strange happened. This is a long intro to the game. It began to shake and shudder. Suddenly, with Arrow inside, it completely disappeared. Arrow's adventures begin. Okay. Bell Castle, Act 1. Let's make a safe state. Okay, you have to earn flying stars. I don't know what those coins do. Okay, I'm just trying to get used to the controls right now. So you can do that, and then you can also drill down. So you can... You can only fly up once. What kind of bad is he if he can't even really fly? Okay, I don't know what these A's do. Is this a trampoline? Yeah. Okay, I think it wants me to keep going to the right, so what I will do is... I wonder if that... Does this attack? It does, okay. Ice cream, burger, pizza. Some roast beef, some chicken, and pizza. What's that from, Joshua? Exactly, SpongeBob. Wait, why did that hit me? Ah! No, I don't. Okay, I got some letters. I don't know what they do. Arrow! Arrow, you're a bad acrobat. I think those A's are my hit points. Oh, jeez. I keep falling. Ah! I also had some of your Sunday. Sunday. Now, is that thing gonna fall on me? I don't know. Okay, I don't know what I just popped, but I popped something. Okay, what is... Oh, that's checkpoint! Okay, I don't know what it was! I got scared! The... Okay. Okay, thanks, Arrow, for not throwing a star like I pressed the button. Freaking, you dumb acrobat. Oh, that's just great. Great. Good job, Arrow. So you really have to you you really have to get a good am angle to be able to latch onto that thing, which is real. And of course, it was the end of the stage, and I right when I lost my life. Act one completed. Food items thirty seven percent. Magic stars eighty percent. Enemy eighty one percent. Overall sixty six percent. You fell. Ekdor's deal. Arrow. Oh, that's probably for the password. Or something. I don't know. Well, no. Oh, okay. So I want the... I'm good at these kinds of uh, minigames. That one. Yippee! 
So did I get the extra life? I did! Yeah! Bell Castle, Act 2. I'm so good at this. It's like I never died the first time. But you did! We all saw it! Shut up! Wait, how did Ari... How did Ari take damage? Unless I didn't. Oh, jeez. <gasps> I'm out of stars. I wonder if I can... I'm gonna see something. I'm gonna make a safe state because I wouldn't do this normally. I just wanna see... Oh, okay, that thing does fall. But... Okay, you can drill into them to kill them. So, that's good to know. Ooh, stars. I'm, not, I'm liking this better than Arrow the Acrobat 1 from uh, the previous Sunsoft collection, so... better. That's better than nothing. Oh, jeez. What is this? Wait, what? That hit me? That didn't hit me in the previous... I don't know. Okay, fine. There, that's what, what I had to do. Oh, jeez. Okay, what is that thing? Okay. I'm scared. What is that thing? I don't know what these enemies do. Oh, I don't I don't know how I survived that. What is that? Oh, it gives me health. Lots of health. I'm just getting points now. If this was ever Katie's challenge, you can and you had to get points, you can just do this and get infinite points. It looks like. But I only have two stars. This isn't good. Okay. We're already nine and a half minutes. Then again, we did spend two minutes on the intro cutscenes. Those are bats. They should be my friends. Why do they want to kill me? Okay, how did I just do that arrows flying move from standing? I don't know. Ow! Wow! Whoa! What is that? Oh, is this a secret? What the? There's an extra life up there. I want it. But I have this. I don't understand. Is this a power up? I don't know. Okay. Let climb down the ladder! You dummy! Yeah. Hey, there's arrow letters up there. Now the question is, how do I get back up? Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. That thing... Okay. What, what's that thing doing? Get the health. Good. 
Joshua, why are you so scared of a bug? Okay, that one doesn't fall. Why do some of them fall? And others don't! Inconsistency, I love it! Wow! Wow! It is rigged. This poor bat, the poor acrobat has to go through so much. Am I supposed to know that I have to jump there? Jeez. Oh. Die. Okay. More bugs. Okay. Ooh. I can do that to kill him. Whoa! He jumped over it! I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Okay, that worked. Could you believe it now? This is a long stage. Okay, it just ended. Yippee! Okay, let's see what we got. Act 2 completed. Food items, 74%. Magic stars, 48. Enemy... 84. Overall, 70%. C minus. See me after class. Hector's deal arrow. Okay. Here's another one of these uh, mini games. Okay, so right now I'm aiming for the left one because I don't want the points. I want the light. I, I, I'm so smart. So now I should have five lives. Yes! Look at that! Five lives! Bell Castle Act 3. Okay, so we're good, that, we're almost at 15 minutes. Um, so that's it for the main game, but we're gonna see what that Ector Editor thing, or whatever it said was. Like I said, I'll, I'll do that after. So we're not quite done with Arrow the Acrobat 2. Developed by Iguana Studios. Or Iguana Entertainment, excuse me. Okay, so options. Play Ector. Select speed. Mm, slow. Oh. Well. That's just this. I guess you can practice it? If that's all this is? That's boring. Okay, well, we at least figured out what it was. So next up is... That we're going to be doing in part one. Days before Christmas. Because we're going to skip the last semester. Enemy below for part two. We're going to say that for part two. Days before Christmas. Laos the mouse and his cronies have stolen all the presents, leaving Santa to- Yeah. What? What? Oh, dude, dude, this game before Christmas, right before Christmas, yeah. I'll wait seven months. Laos the mouse and his cronies have stolen all the presents, leaving Santa to retrieve them from 24 levels if he hopes to save Christmas. Defeat enemies with magic dust, or by stumping on them to reveal presents. Collect the blue presents and deliver them between stages, while red and gold presents sometimes contain helpful items for Santa to use. Watch out, though! If Santa drinks a cup of tea, he temporarily becomes the anti -Claus. And anti -Claus is most definitely on the naughty list. History. While many of Sunsoft's games are Japanese in origin, this one is actually Norwegian. Back on the original release in 1994, it only came out in Australia. Though this later port also found its way to Europe. Katie says, I 
never knew tea was so dangerous. Perhaps Santa should have stuck to the brandy. Brandy is alcohol, I believe. So days before Christmas, and the controls are just jump stomp, throw magic dust, or swing sack as the anti claws. So yeah. I'm pretty sure this is a 16-bit game and uses two buttons. Sunsoft of America. Wait, what? I saw Arrow. Days before Christmas. This game is really quiet. Like, I can't even hear this music. One player options or two player options? We always look at options for skill, easy, normal, or hard. We're gonna stick on normal. Jump, uh, anti time, password. The password? Okay. Three, two, one. Let's pickle. Only days before Christmas, Santa slept in his house. An evil plot was brewing, cooked up by an awful louse. The cold and evil snowman scared all the elves away. Timekeepers stole plans from Santa's house that day. But for the vicious louse, this wasn't bad enough. I'm really gonna show him I'm gonna play rough. He tore the presents open and on, that, and on them cast a spell. That's when Santa woke up. Something wasn't well. All his elves had vanished, his presence also gone, and threats were awaiting surely more than one. Beware the magic potion calling Santa's evil twin, the angry Anticlaus is fiend from within. So, Anti must be Santa, pick presence all the way, to face the foe so bravely and make it through the day. Go beat the evil bosses who's lurking in the dark, find a sleigh and reindeer set out to make his mark. Find every soul and present that was unjustly craved. For every kid on earth, Christmas must be saved. Okay, so we're an ad. So it's an advent calendar. Santa's hallway, but it's not there. Where's the apostrophe? Player one, get ready. Okay, uh, quick save. I just got a text. That's a present. Ow! I think I took damage. I'm not Or is that one of my elves? Oh, look at Santa. He can hide in his hat. That's a little weird. Um... And the stomping and This is weird. Okay, I'm gonna look down. Yeah, this game is really quiet. I don't know why some games... Pico 4 had that issue, too. Where some games are just absurdly quiet. Like, I can't I can't hear it at all. Like, unless I turn up my TV a whole bunch. Like, I hear some sound, but I can't make any of it out, you know? There's the stand... Just bounce... Ah, that's a bomb! Okay, I think th I think those guys are our elves. So the question is, how do I get behind the staircase? Can I jump? No, there's no jumping down. Let's see, can I TikTok on the clock I paced down your block? I broke my own heart because you were too polite to do it. What's that from, Joshua? Taylor Swift, Suburban Legends. From the vault. Taylor's version. Be quiet already. Fine, I'm sorry! <laughs> What's his bell? Is this a checkpoint? I don't even know what's going on. I'm glad we don't have an ammo limit like there we do an arrow. Okay, there's a it looks like there's an extra life up there, but how do I get it? Oh, like that. Bomb. Ooh. Like I don't hate this. I just, there's, I have nothing to say, though. That, that's, that's kind of, like, the worst thing about a game. 
Because if you have nothing to say about it. Okay. Ah! Okay. Did I beat the stage? I did! Level completed! And there are 24 stages, because it is an advent calendar. So, and it also says on Let It Snow. Player one, get ready. Wait, okay, I have four... What the heck is that? Is that an enemy? It is. Bombs. Why is the second level in games always easier than the first? Never mind, I died. No, no, that was it! That was the whole level! What? Excuse me? Ice cave. Yeah. That was so awkward. I was using it to look down. See? It's slow, but it's the only way. I didn't realize that that went away. Santa's! His name is Santa, not Santa's! Well, there was no apostrophe on the hallway. So, his name is now Santa's. Is that an enemy or my friend? That looks like one of my reindeers, but... I can't do anything. I can't rescue it. I'm sorry, reindeer. I'm sorry, not sorry, actually. Well, the music got a little louder. I can actually hear it. What is that? Okay. Oh, that's some kind of flame power-up. So maybe... Okay. Okay, Santa's... Okay, I lost all horizontal momentum there somehow. Not quite sure. Ouch. Okay, I rescued my reindeer. Now what? Okay, let's go down. More presents. Oh, there's the T! Did I become the anti claws? Oh, look at him! Okay, he's only anti claws for a little bit. Ugh. Okay. Okay, I, I assume the bell is a chuck. Okay, that's one of my L's. Kill the penguins, of course. Who likes penguins anyway? <laughs> oh, okay. Ate my jump, I think. That was really weird. I hate having to keep looking down like this because I don't know what's below me. This is a long stage compared to that last one. Okay. 
Okay, kill the seagull. Why is there a seagull in an ice cave? It's not a seagull, it's some other animal. Well, too bad. Ouch! Now the icicles are falling! Santa's is not having a good time. Okay, what's that? Yeah, it does feel like an OT ice cavern. Okay, level completed! Level 4. Blue magic. Player 1, get ready! There's a helicopter, and where even am I? Where are these little tiny helicopters that are smaller than Santa's? Are they toy helicopters? Who's controlling them? The penguins? Like I said, I don't, I don't, I, I don't mind this game actually. Um, I just don't have much of it to talk about. The never knowing what's below you is an issue, so you have to keep looking down a lot, which is slow. But at least there's no time limit. But um. That that's that's really my only real complaint, except for the volume. What is okay? Why does that thing have eyes? Do I want to go in there? I'm a present. Yeah, he got turned into a present. I because that machine packed him into a present. Here's another one. Santas, unwrap yourself. Think of the children. No one wants an old man as a gift. Ignore I said that, by the way. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, gold present. Please be good. Yay! Checkpoint! Checkpoint! Okay, magic carpet! Okay. What's below me? Oh, I can't see. What's below me? Okay, the magic carpet just... I don't... I want to know if something's down there, so I'm going to save state and then just jump in the... Okay, that kills you. I just wanted to know if there was something down there. Because you never know. Well, you know if you've played the game before, but I haven't played the game before, so I, I wouldn't know. Ah. Uh. Oh, Sunsoft. Yes, the Sun Song. Da 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 da. Now it's now it is Christmas and not the days before Christmas. Okay, another checker point. Checker point. Yes. That's that's what I called them when I when in like Mario Maker and Mario Maker Two. Whenever I reach a checkpoint, they like, checker point. So. I call checkpoints checker points sometimes, just because of that. Okay. These magic carpets are... They're annoying just because... There doesn't seem to be, like, any reason to them. Like, there's no obstacles on them. That's the end of the stage. There's no obstacles on them. Okay, so that was stage four. Blue magic. Or is that stage five? Now we're on stage five. 
All right, and we're at 14 minutes, the evil snowman. So what I'm going to do is we're going to stop for this game here. Um, it's all right. Um, just, it's hard to talk about, to be honest. But it is what it is. Uh, it's not bad. Um, it's, a, it's a decent little game, actually. Um, and Arrow the Acrobat 2 is all right so far, too. Um, I like it more than Arrow the Acrobat 1. So next up is going to be Galaxy Fight Universal Warriors. Oh, boy. A fighting game. And I am Joshua8600, and you know how I feel about fighting games. I don't like them. Eight fighters have come together in an attempt to claim power of the mysterious divine being felled in for themselves. Battle opponents across arenas without boundaries in classic best of three bouts. And master your favorite character's varied skills and abilities on their quest to obtain godly power. One or two players can play simultaneously on Evercade VS. See the manual for individual characters' special moves. The L1, L2, R1, R2 keys can be customized in the game's options menu to automatically trigger special moves and taunts. Oh, really? I kind of like that. If they can be auto if they can automatically trigger special moves, that's cool. History. Galaxy 5 was originally released in 1995 as an arcade title and was Sunsoft's second fighting game after the unusual 16-bit title, Sugoi Hibarik. While that game unfolded from a top-down perspective and supported up to four players, Galaxy Fight is a more conventional one-on-one -on -one fighter presented from a side-on perspective. It's a spiritual successor to Waku Waku 7, probably Sunsoft's most well-known entry in the genre today. Katie says, Rumi is best girl, but you knew that already. I don't get it. Um, one thing I'm... Loading. It's loading for a while. Oh, there it goes. That took a while. I don't know how many bits this game is. Unauthorized reproduction of all our... Criminal offense. Sunsoft. Well, because it went by so fast. Mode select. One player mode, a versus mode, options. Look at options. As we always do. Memory card. Oh, is this a PS1 game? If that if it is, that's that would make sense why it took so long to load. Time select, 60, level select, BGM. So, ooh. Special command. Memory card. Okay. Oh yeah, whatever. We're just gonna start the timer. Three, two, one. Let's pickle because I'm not gonna be playing this game for very long. I already know that. Just like with Pico Arcade One and uh, Dragon Master and uh, whatever it was called, the other one, Master Sphere. Um, I guess I could start left to right. Rumi, what? I did not select her. It's selecting automatically because the time ran out. I guess we're playing as best girl, according to Katie. So I don't think someone influenced KD to say that. Now loading, please wait, versus Kazuma. Okay, I should look at the controls. Um, not just the special moves, which are in this manual, which I'm not going to look at. Um, because I, I want to understand them. Move character, pause, light attack, medium, heavy, and taunt. Ooh, taunting is my favorite button. So, let's see, let's see if, how we can taunt. Phantom, chop you into pieces. Why is that C larger than the rest? Like higher up. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Rumi! Fine. I'm just gonna talk. Because it's a fighting game, all fighting games look like this. Literally, basically, every fighting game is Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Tekken. And, and to me, they're all the same. Because I, I don't understand fighting games. Like, like I barely learned um, how to play... What was it called? No. Um... Play Fighter on Interplay One uh, for Katie's Challenge, and that and that and I hated it. Um, 
Rumi loses. Can I give up now? <laughs> but yeah, the Smash isn't. Smash is different. Like it is a fighting game, but it's not one of. It's not. It's not like one of these kinds of fighting games. It's not a tournament fighter. Stop taunting! I don't actually want to taunt. Hey, look, at least I'm doing damage. Well, how does he do all this stuff? Ugh. Rumi loses. Cosima wins. Rumi loses. Yeah, see? Told you, Rumi loses. Such a life, such a death. Continue, no. I don't want to continue. Okay, let, let's select a different character. Now loading, please wait. Game over. Results. Oh, that's beautiful. Now... Oh, did the game just reset? I think it did. Alright, um... Alvin, G. Dunn, Judy, Rolf, Cosima, Rumi, Musafar. I'm gonna go with Gunta! The Ring General Gunta! Okay. How, look, how, how can I lose? I'm that big beast. Monster! Chop you into pieces! How can I lose? Oh, I'm already losing. I can't even figure out how to move fast. Like, when I double tap the thing, he doesn't move. Yeah. If you like one on one fighters, you probably would like this game. But if you don't like one-on-one -on -one fighters, then you don't like this game exactly. Look how much damage he's doing! How does he block? And why can't I block? Oh my god, I did it. I, I did damage. I can still win. No, I can't. <laughs> KO. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Next game. I just, I can't with this. So, last game for this video is going to be Zero, the Kamikaze Squirrel. The eponymous rival of Arrow the Acrobat is on a quest to save his homeland from the acts of evil lumberjack Jacques Lachit. But not all but not all is as it seems. Zero must use his martial arts skills to get to the bottom of this mystery. Protect the forest and discover the true mastermind. Keep an eye out for springboards to launch Zero into the air, transporters and pump up doors that lead to secret areas, and super dive test areas to practice Zero's trickiest maneuvers. History. Zero was designed by Justin Siller, son of Arrow the Acrobat's original designer, David Siller. It took a year to turn Justin's concept sketches into a workable digital sprite. And Zero's own game released just a few months after he appeared as a supporting villain in Arrow the Acrobat 2. 
Katie says, turns out one of the baddies wasn't so bad after all. Isn't that nice? Yes. Okay, so let's, um, we'll look at the controls on the inside. Okay. Controls. Move zero, pause, flick, flack, left, flick, flack, right, whatever that means. Throw stars, aim with D-pad, jump slash spin attack with A, with down, swoop, and nunchaku. Uh, dive and hold, look around. Okay, we'll figure it out. Iguana Entertainment did develop this game too? Oh, gee whiz. Sunsoft. There's zero. Urgent telegram. Zero. The evil lumberjack Jacques Lachitz is chopping down stony forest. Aw. Zero. I must return home. The forest is in danger. You are my number one operative. Your loyalty is here with me. My homeland needs me. My family needs me. That's more important. Nothing is more important than your mission here with me. I forbid you to leave. You cannot go. Watch me! Go then, my my furry friend, but don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Zero, the kamikaze squirrel. Okay, three, two, one. Let's tickle the timer. Okay, let's look at options, of course. Because we always do... Stop sound. That's a great option. Start. Okay, we're in a plane. Oh, now we're not in the plane. Okay, so far, I'm, I'm just testing the controls. Throw stars, we don't have any. What, wait, what? That flick flack is really weird. Actually. Um, and then dive, hold, look around. Oh, that's cool. He takes out a little telescope. And then nunchuck. Controls. Oh, and that's swooping right there. That's interesting. Okay. Did I? Oh, wait, when did I get stars? I don't know. Ow. Fine. Hey. Ow. I don't like that, that what that thing did. Lots of stars here. Okay, what's this balloon? This balloon thing? Can I? Okay, I can cut it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh. Okay. Ah, I'm gonna die, and I'm bar and I'm barely a few enemies into the first stage. I need to find more. I need to find some Z's. I have to take the slow. <laughs> oh, checker point. I have to see if there's anything on top of these trees. Wait, what the? How did I bounce on the tree? I don't, I don't know!
What is that thing? Is that an enemy? I, I'm gonna assume it is. But it keeps going higher whenever I go higher. So I can't kill it. I'm afraid, to be honest. Oof, zero! Get in! Oh, uh, well, that's gone. He fell through that basket like three times. Okay. Already four minutes in. Look how I have to slow I have to move because I because enemies just pop out of nowhere. Zero, please. Oh. How are you supposed to get over there? Who help? That's the best thing I've ever seen. Ow. Poor zero. I don't know what that camera thing is. Okay. Zero, please get in the basket! You freaking stupid squirrel! God, here's another one. Okay, what is that below me? Oh, how am I supposed to do get that? Kill the electric eels! Grab all the food, just... We're at the end of the stage! This is still stage one! Hey, right, got it. Beach stage one complete! Lots of bonus, kind of. Look at Zero spazzing out down there. Secret rooms three, none entered, no bonus. The game is interesting so far. It's much harder than Arrow the Acrobat 2. Which would make sense considering it is like the third in the series. Right, I can do this. See down. How am I supposed to go up? He's a squirrel. Okay. Is Krant Squirrel- aren't squirrels supposed to be able to climb trees? So why can't I? Oh, cool! Ow! Die! Why does it spin sometimes to throw them to, to throw the star? It's so like it's so slow. Zero, you suck. You know that? You're a terrible squirrel. Oh look, at least there are two healths down there. A robot. Is that one of Ector's things? Like, what's it doing on the beach? 
Or is that from whatever his name Lashitz was? Oh god. Die. Bill! No! No! Stay away from me! What the heck is this? Oh, I think I found a bonus room! Well, look at that! Zero, we're, we actually did something good for once. You can run fast when you want to. Oh, the, here's the pump. I was on the wrong side. Let's go in. Okay, quick save. Ouch. I didn't actually take damage for that. Look like it hurt! Hey, robot? Okay, Zero is literally just going through it. Look at this. He's being a bad squirrel again. I gave him praise for one moment and he thinks he can slack off. Slacker. Squirrel. Joshua, you make no sense when you're doing these videos. No one's gonna watch because you're so weird. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know how to get across, actually. Like that? Okay. Joshua, stop screaming! Yes. Uh, oh, what did, how did I get up here? <laughs> that must have been some kind of glitch or something. Oh, okay. No, just just run run zero R run to the edge okay maybe don't do that <laughs> no get in the basket okay all these coins and I got none of them really Okay, I really hate that enemy. You it, you can't see it coming. Okay, here's the end of the stage. Thank goodness. Beach stage two complete. Hey. Okay. Select secret rooms four zero entered. What? I enter one. Ah, uh, you know what? You know what game? Blech. Okay, now what's going on? What is this map? So we beat the the beach. All right, now we're in some kind of cave. But we're already at thirteen minutes. We don't have enough time. Like it will take it'll take quite a while to beat this next stage. So I'm just gonna stop here uh, for this game. Um, it's all right. Um, it's it is much harder than Arrow the Acrobat two, but I do I do like despite what I was how much I was insulting Zero. Um, that's just what I that's just what I do. Like if you've watched me play OOTMM, you've seen how much I talk bad to Link. So yeah, 
It, it's just a thing that I do with the with the games that I play. I talk bad to the characters. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's not bad. So yeah, so far, Arrow the Acrobat 2, Days Before Christmas, and Zero the Comic Card Squirrel are all good. Um, Galaxy Fight, I personally don't like. That doesn't mean it's a bad game. It's just, it's a fighting game. And let me stop the timer. Um, it's just, it's just not a game for me, really. It's, I don't like fighting games. But, but yeah, um, I don't think it's bad. Um, not like some of the ones that we saw on like Team 17 Collection 1, for example, like Body Blows or that, um, that other one. I can't remember what it was. Um, but yeah, um, good. It, it, this cartridge is good so far. I like it. And I'm really excited for the, the, the last three games, Blast Master, Enemy Blow, Pre Primitive Princess, and Euphoria the Saga. That's, those are going to be fun to try in the next video. So yeah. That's all for this one. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a nice time. I'm Joshua Six Engine. I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe to me on YouTube. Follow me on Twitch. Watch this stuff. Love me. Okay. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.